Hey, everybody, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich again. Remember, I gave you tips about how to view the eclipse safely with glasses and what it's going to look like. Today, I wanted to show you a little project that's great to do with the kids. It's very simple. You don't need special glasses. You just need some cardboard, some paper, simple supplies around the house, and you can build what's called a pinhole projector. Now, in its essence, you can build a big box, grab a box and make a hole for your head to stick up in there. But I find this hard to do, and it only works for one person at a time. But you could try that technique. It's very simple. Here's the diagram of what it looks like. But let me show you a much simpler way to do this. The first thing you need, simple cardboard, very stiff cardboard. The best thing to do, grab those boxes from Amazon you just got a shipment from, and cut some nice big pieces. Take those two pieces. On one of them, grab some white paper, or if it's white cardboard, even better, and glue a piece of white paper to one side of one of those pieces of cardboard. Now with the other piece of cardboard, this part is very important. You need to make the pinhole. Now you can use a pin, you can use a push pin. In this case, I'm going to use an actual mini screwdriver. The key part here is you've got to make a very, very smooth circle in this box, a hole. It's got, it can't be jagged. It's got to be nice and smooth. Um, and the bigger the circle, the bigger the projection will be. The smaller, the smaller projection will be. Let me show you how this is actually going to work. All right, for this part, I'm going to use my son, Kyler. Say hi, Kyler, to kind of explain. So there's our piece of paper with white on it. Here's my piece of paper with the pinhole. Now watch, I'm going to hold this up to the sun, which you can see is up there. I'm going to hold this to the sun, like so, and we're going to make a pinhole. Now, Kyler, hold yours up a little bit higher. So the light's going to pass through that little hole, and then look what happens on this side. You see that projection? Let me show you. Keep it steady. So you see that little dot? Okay, that is going to be what you're going to see. Now, during the eclipse, this little dot will get eaten up by the moon. Hold it straight, bud. You got to hold it level with like that. So see that? So that's level with our thing. So that will be the sun, and that sun will slowly get eaten up on eclipse day. Now, today is a tough day because we've got a lot of clouds, right? There's some high clouds. So even with these high clouds, we can actually see the pinhole. And the farther I hold my box back the bigger that circle will get so i'm going to hold this really far back and you can see the circle it's still there it's very faint but because we're looking through milky sunshine that's the way it looks looks but the cool thing is if you can mount these and keep moving them maybe to tripods or something then you can actually get a pretty good view of the eclipse so a simple and easy way that you and your kids can make uh, some pretty good simple eclipse viewing um, pinhole projectors. The other thing you can do, which is if you're very brave, you can grab some binocula binoculars, I'll spit it out, binoculars or even um, a telescope and hold these up to the sun and have it project on that paper as well. But you gotta mount this and you still need some protection for this. But something worth trying, if you wanna make a project at home to watch the eclipse with the family, it, the pinhole projector is the way to go. I'll put links to these diagrams on my blog and on my Facebook page in case you need them.